everyone, so today I'm filming a chit chat get ready with me type video. So basically I'm doing my makeup and talking to you guys at the same time and having a conversation. But it's kind of one sided because you're not replying to me but I'm still talking to you. But yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm talking to you but I'm just waiting until I edit and upload it to get your reply. Uh, one thing that I forgot to talk about in the video is about a room tour and a bathroom tour. It is definitely coming soon because my video, my background is kind of changing up a little bit, um, and kind of my room just in general. And then my bathroom is pretty much completely done, but I want to get my room tour done before my bathroom tour. So, um, please stay tuned for that. It is coming very soon, as soon as I can find some cute throw pillows to go on my bed. Also, if you can't tell by my voice... I'm a little sick, but it's not as bad. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is applying a concealer. Normally, I would use the um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand, but when I went to pick it up, I they didn't have that one, so I went a shade darker rather than a shade lighter, and it kind of messed me up. So I can't use this for under my eyes during the winter time because it's a little bit more orange. So to, like I said, to substitute for that, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready um, Concealer in the shade 003 Light and Medium. Um, I don't want this to seem like a makeup tutorial as I'm doing this, but I kind of want to introduce you guys to the products that I use usually on a day-to-day -day basis. So, but the first thing I do want to talk to you guys about is um, my sister Bailey. She recently got a new dog, and it's a teacup Yorkie, but um, I'm just going to put this under my eyes on, on, and um, on any problem areas that I have, which I don't have too many, but like um, I have like a little scratch and the little crease of my nose right there, so I'm going to conceal that, um, and then I'm going to take a brush to blend that out, but um, yeah, I, she got that dog. And I was wondering if you guys wanted me to do the furry friend tag, because if you do, then I will definitely, um, try to do that. But do you guys want me to just put Mila in it? Because I have another dog, too. His name is Berkeley, and it is a bigger, way, way, way bigger dog. Um, and Mila's, like, she could literally fit in one and a half of my hands. But, um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to put both of them in it so I don't have to do two separate videos because some of you guys might want to see Berkeley, but the other ones might want to see um, uh, Mila. So, and yeah, her name is Mila, kind of like the actress Mila Kunis. And yes, we're in love with her. And we've got her Thursday, and this is Sunday, so we haven't had much time with her, but as far as we know, we're in love with her. I'm also going to put this concealer on my... Um, from my lid up to my brow bone just to kind of use it as a base or a primer. I, ha I have so many expensive primers and I never ever use them. I always just use the concealer that I use for under my eyes. I'm sorry that we're a little up close and personal, but it's just the lens that I'm using. Um, it's kind of, it's like an automatic, like that you can't zoom in and out. It's just automatically zoomed in for you. Um, but it blurs out your background really, really blurry so I really really like that about this and so if you're ever wondering what lens I'm using if the uh, background was very blurred out it is the Nikon 50 millimeter 1.8 um actually it's not just Nikon but the one that I'm using is Nikon they have them for Canon as well um depending on what DSLR you use uh but yeah next I want to talk about VidCon because I'm thinking about going, and I was talking to my mom about it, and she was like, yeah, 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 but also, and then recently I talked to her about it, and she was like, I don't know, maybe, but my sister is going on her senior trip this year, so it might not all work out to where we can go to both, um, but that's not like a final thing, like, no, I'm not going, because I might still be able to go, um, let's hope that I do, because I really want to come back to California, but, um, yeah, let's definitely cross our fingers and hope that that works out. I've never been to VidCon before. The only like convention that I've been to is IMAX and um, Olivia told me that they don't offer it to people that are like over, under 18 or something like that um, and I don't know why they would do that like I mean like they got most of their business was from beauty gurus I thought so I don't know. 
Um, now I'm just using the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Press Powder and a regular, just like, weird brush. I don't even know what this is. Um, it's like a Duo Fiber Synthetic brush. Um, and I'm just taking that and setting the concealer wherever I put it. So, under my eyes. Um, obviously on my lid, up to my brow bone. I don't know, I'm kind of doing it kind of loosely right now. And then it might look a little lighter in other places, but I kind of just go back with my fingers and just blend over it. And then around my nose, because I definitely put concealer right there. And then just blend it all out. And I'm also really sorry that I look like a ghost right now. A, it's winter time. B, there's no sun outside, so I had to use lighting and it kind of washes me out a little bit more. But, C, I'm a little sick, so I could be a little bit more pale for that reason. But, um, yeah, that's why you're getting annoyed by my voice. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, but, uh, oh, by the way, I didn't even tell you guys what I was getting ready for. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go to cheer, but before that, I'm getting ready to make, um, a few videos today. Uh, because that is just what I do on my Sundays before cheer. And sometimes after cheer, but, um, usually if I make them after cheer, they're kind of like... I kind of look ratchet after them, so I try to make them before. Um, but now I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Um, I'm not going to film this because I will just make an eyebrow routine if you guys want to see it. Um, they're probably going to look really bad today since I'm doing them and I'm on camera. But, um, yeah, like I said, this is the Anastasia... Oh, crap, that just fell. Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and I'm using the Anastasia number 12 little duo ended brush. It has the spoolie and the little angled brush on the other side. So this is one eyebrow done and one not done so it definitely looks way better with it filled in. Um, some days they come out darker, some days they come out more natural like this so hopefully the other one will match. Uh, that is the hardest part that I have with filling in my eyebrows but you know sometimes you just, I mean eyebrows aren't, they're sisters, they're not twins. I mean I just so this is what it looks like with both eyebrows done. They look fairly similar. Um, the hardest part I have is getting the inners to match up and now I'm probably pointing out that they don't really match. I do get my eyebrows waxed. I haven't gotten ever gotten them threaded. I do plug them myself if I start getting little prickly thingies growing around but I got them waxed like almost a week ago and they're, like, I haven't had to pluck a single hair from them. So, I think I'm going to go back to the place that I went to. It's, like, a local place, I'm pretty sure. It's just, like, in my mall. And, um, I've never been there before until now. And it's not the European white place that I was telling you guys about. It's a t completely different place. Um, and I actually like the, the, um, person that did it. It was actually a man. So, um, maybe guys are better at it. I don't know. But, um, he did not wax his eyebrows. I really don't know how he knows how to do it. But the next thing I'm going to do is finish my face makeup. So usually, I since I'm so pale right now, I will go in with the Too Faced Chocolate, Milk Chocolate Soy Lay Bronzer. Um, and I will go in and do this with, I'm pretty sure this is like a MAC 109 kind of lookalike. Or dupe, I don't know what you would call it. Um, and most of the time I'll just go kind of, um all over the lighter parts of my face but sometimes I actually feel like um kind of more bronzing but it is really hard for me to bronze my face considering I have a birthmark right here so sometimes it just looks like I just like messed up on this side of my makeup and so um I just kind of have to go really really natural with it but um I mean that's what we're going for anyways it's just a natural look I'll do a little bit but not so much to where it's like oh whoa this is just the lightest, um, they have a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate, I'm pretty sure, and this is the milk one, cause, so it's not as dark. I mostly, when I'm bronzing on this side, I just try to get it more back in my hairline rather than bringing it all the way down, but then I'll kind of blend it up here and then bring it down, um, but I just don't want it to look like I just, like, messed up, because he's like, look how, like, natural-ish, I mean, I haven't blended it out yet. But then it just like goes to the side and that's one thing that I do not like about my birthmark is that it can kind of throw my makeup off and not look as even ever. So, um, but 
for the most part, I don't notice it as much anymore. And then I'm going to go in with my Sigma Big Fluffy Powder Brush. This is the Sigma F30 Large Powder. And I'm just going to blend this a little bit to where it's not too, too harsh. Especially the side with my burst mark on it because we all know how that'll look if I don't. Um, and just kind of blend wherever I put it. Okay. Looking, looking dandy. And now I'm going to go in with, um, I usually switch up between the two brushes. I either use my Sigma F40 or my Bobbi Brown Face Blender Brush for blush. But it really just depends on what I'm trying to do. So today I think I'm going to use the Sigma one because I kind of want to, it's angled and it just kind of gives a better effect sometimes. I'm going to go in with this MAC blush in the shade... Stubborn, and this is a pro longwear br blush. Pro longwear blush. And I'm sorry if I go like in and out of focus, it's because of me moving back and forth so much. But I just get a little bit of that on the brush and then tap it off because this is definitely a bam blush. And if you're not careful with it, it will look disastrous. So I just kind of tap it first um, to get the majority of the product off the brush, so then I can just kind of blend and move it up my cheek. It feels so awkward when I smile when I'm doing my blush because like I'm just like smiling at myself. And um, yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I, I might look more natural on camera, but in person it looks like I have on a lot of blush. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it looks more natural on camera at, from what I can see in the viewfinder, but um, at the same time, like, in person, I just, I don't know, should I go with what it looks like in real life or what it looks like to you guys? So, this is not the blush brush that I usually use to blend. This is a Bobbi Brown bronzer brush. Uh, and I'm just kind of like tapering it so it'll be more precise in where I want it to go. And I'm just going to blend this out. Um, but this doesn't have any product on it, so it's good to use it for blending. So it's not going to, like, add more product to your face. Sometimes I will highlight. Sometimes I won't. It just depends. I don't even know if I have any good highlighters at the moment. Since is this since this is a video, I'm going to try um, these highlighting powders that I've had for forever. And I've tried them a few times, but not a lot. I got these in an Ipsy bag a while back, but I just haven't gotten around to using them because I don't highlight that much. These are the Megator um, highlighting papers and they're so cool like it's just like a piece of paper with some makeup on it and um, I think I don't know if they have different shades of these but I do not know what shade this is. If I did I promise I would tell you. So next I'm going to go in with my Naked palette and look how beaten up it is. Um, I haven't used it in forever because normally I would be using my Lorac Pro palette, but I decided to give Urban Decay a chance again. Um, I've always loved this palette, but I just kind of switch up my makeup way too much to ever use anything up. Um, so I'm taking that um, Virgin color, which is this in based kind of highlight color, on the Bobbi Brown Eye Sweep brush, and I'm just getting that on there and then tapping off some excess so I don't have too much. And I'm just going to apply that from my lid up to my brow bone. Um, just kind of, like I said, add a base, maybe a little bit of highlight. Give something for my eyeshadows to sit on, I guess. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the Sigma brush, if I can find it. Um, these are my three favorite brushes from the Mr. Bunny collection. Um, the... Eye shading E55 and the medium angled E70 and the E40 tapered blending. And I just realized that this video is a chit chat video and I've only been talking to you about makeup. But um, next, I want to talk to you guys about SoundCloud and I want you guys to comment down below um, your usernames to that because I have recently just decided to get a SoundCloud. Um, I have a playlist, but it's only Nikki Heaton songs because I'm obsessed with her. So I really want to um, add new songs to my profile, but I don't know what songs to get that aren't like ones that everybody puts on their thing. 
Um, so comment down below your uh, SoundCloud usernames, and mine is just uh, Gracie Holmes, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100%, so I will link that down below. But meanwhile, I'm just going to take um, Buck on the Sigma Eyeshading U55 brush, and I love this brush for my crease because I feel like I could just get it more precise and just where I want it to go. It gives like a good shadow, um, just kind of giving depth to my eye. So like I said, it's Sunday and I have school tomorrow and I missed, last week I missed two days of school. I missed on a Tuesday and that Friday I just woke up on Tuesday and I felt like complete crap. I did the same thing Wednesday and Thursday, but I decided to stick it out for school. And then Friday, I woke up started and started throwing up, so I just did not go to school that day either. So I kind of don't want to go to school tomorrow because, I mean, it's school and I really don't like it at all. Okay, I only have two hard classes. This period, I have my not, like, it's a hard class, but it's not hard for me right now because I, I don't know, it's just been easy lately and it's math. Which is really crazy because math is usually my least favorite subject. Like, I hate math. But lately, I've actually been doing really, really good in there. And I'm probably jinxing myself and I'll probably start making Fs. But, um, so math, I'm in Algebra uh, 1B. So, which is like the second part of Algebra. Um, and next year, I'll take Geometry in ninth grade. And then, um... After that, I think I take Algebra or Trig. But anyways, second period, I have, uh, it's called, it's, she, on our schedule, it was called Teen Connect, or Teen Connections, but, uh, she kind of calls it Eighth Facts, which is, like, I call it Home Ec, because you kind of, like, learn about family and, like, your qualities and stuff like that, so, it really is, like, a Teen Connection class, but every time anybody asks me what class I'm going to, I'll be, like, Home Ec, but really, it's not Home Ec. Um, so that's not a hard class at all. We just do book work every single day, which is, you might think, wow, really book work, but really the book work is like, you do like three questions and then you copy down like five vocabulary words. So it's not hard at all. And then you have small little quizzes on it that are easy. So if you miss a day in her class, like you're not, it's not going to be like a struggle to pick back up. And then third period, I have PE. Fourth period, I have, it's kind of like a study hall, x block period. And then fifth period is probably going to be my hardest class, and that is English. And it's not really that English is hard for me to, like, comprehend, because I obviously speak it. Um, and I know that's really not what English is about. But English is um, my hardest class because I just have a tough teacher. She's a really good, awesome teacher, but she's definitely probably one of the toughest teachers that I've ever had. Before during our class, I had to read a book by Wednesday that I have read the first page 20 billion times because I do not know what I'm reading in her class. It is the hardest book. Like, I don't, I just don't understand what it's saying. It's called Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. Let me know if you guys have read the whole thing and if it gets better as it goes on because, honestly, I cannot get into it at all. And I have to read it by Wednesday. So, um, I have three days to read it. That'll probably be what I do when I come home after cheer is probably buy it on Audible, which I'm not sponsored by them. So I'm finally done with that crease color. Now I'm going to go in with, hmm, I guess I'm going to go in with a little bit of half-baked, but I'm just going to get it on my ring finger and just kind of tap it in on my um, lid. I haven't worn kind of like a gold color in a really long time. After I add that, I'm going to go back with that um, flat shader or eye shading brush. And just go once and once. Just kind of blend them back together. Okay, there's my eyeliner. And, um, oh, by the way, I use the NYC High Definition because it's like $2. And I have it, have yet to run out of the first one. Um, next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Eyelash Curl. So, I don't really have any trick to curling my eyelashes. I just get them in there and push down. And then I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and apply it to my lashes. Kind of like go up, up, up and then go down on the back side of my lashes because it helps them like, I don't know. And then I go back going up, up, up 
I don't know why it helps, but it does. And um, it makes my eyelashes just look a lot more thicker and full. And then also, um, I obviously have a mess to clean up on my top eyeshadow. I'm just going to take a Q-tip and just kind of clean that up. And with that eye shading brush, and just go back over the brown so the color isn't any faded. But, um, yeah, this is the finished makeup look and chit chat video. I'm sorry that it kind of started out more chit chat and then kind of went into just to makeup, but, um, I just kind of got sidetracked in telling you guys about it. But, um, yeah, it's kind of just like a natural gold brown look and. Yeah, um, thumbs up this video if you want to see, um, more videos like this. Mm. So, thumbs up this video if you want to see more videos like this, or if you just want to see some tutorials, if you want to see an eyebrow routine, don't forget to comment down, that down below. I love you guys so much, and if you see me in this outfit in the next video, it's because they were filmed on the same day. But, I love you guys so much. Bye!